Welcome back to the channel everybody, this is another episode of Fate and you know what I do on this series of videos Wanna contact me, go to Instagram, look for me, Francisco Maya YouTube, follow me, you know what to do next Today I have this Cummins ISX engine um, and as you can see, the head is completely apart We have the engine right here completely apart because we were having problems with this engine um, I don't know if you guys saw my previous videos and I had couple days ago about another Cummins ISX engine that was building high uh, pressure on the coolant system. What happened then was then the coolant tank was getting a lot of pressure from the engine. Now you remember then I removed it, uh, the coolant cap right here and I hooked the compressor tester to see how much pressure we were getting on the coolant system. So the similar thing happened to this but in a lower way which means then the pressure was not getting that higher it was building pressure over here because it was throwing coolant for on this cap over here so the coolant was getting released over here because the coolant pressure was too high so when this was going on uh, the vehicle was in motion the, the vehicle was running and then is when this was happening so I did uh, the coolant uh, test over here, the coolant pressure test and the pressure was not high enough to justify a problem but you have to remember that the vehicle is in motion with a trailer loaded and right now the vehicle was just parked with the engine running which doesn't add any pressure, any stress to the engine so that's the reason why the pressure wasn't getting built over here but clearly we have the mark and the coolant was leaking from here because of that, we have the head completely apart because the problem when you have a high coolant pressure happens in this area the top area of the engine which is called the head the head is the one responsible to keep the pressure of the combustion chamber in, uh, in a sealed chamber, right? So uh, when that happens, uh, the energy happens because you have compression and then you have the uh, fire, the energy uh, struck. So uh, when the compression happens, if there is a very small leak somewhere, it's going to get released. And in this case, the pressure was getting released to the coolant system. So the coolant system was getting a bit of pressure. It was not high like the other engine I did as I was talking before. So uh, the, it was just a very small leak. Not enough to make, to uh, destroy a hose, but enough to notice it. The problem with these leaks like that is that it's really hard to find it, but there is only one place where you can find it, which is the head. So where that leak is going to be is under the, in the bottom area of the head. If we have the head, right, the bottom part of the head, the round sign, you can see that's where the cylinder uh, happens to be, right? That's where the cylinder is. So that's this mark over here, you see this little mark is for the gasket on the side. It's a ring from the gasket, from the head gasket so that helps to prevent the leak of the uh, compression in the uh, cylinder head. So um, usually in some engines when you are getting uh, compression leak to the coolant system that means then the cylinder, uh, the head gasket is the one that goes bad. So uh, the head gasket, the leader, you see this line over here which is this one right here, see, this is the cylinder, uh, the head gasket. So uh, this is the line, I mean the little seal then seals the pressure of the cylinder with the cylinder head. So when this one goes bad, it breaks from here and the pressure starts getting released to the coolant system, to one of these orifices right here, it starts releasing the pressure. So the one that is closer is going to be releasing the pressure. Usually it's the coolant system because the coolant system is the closest one to the cylinder walls. So it's going to be releasing here to these orifices right here and then you're gonna have high uh, pressure in the coolant system. In this case, the cylinder head gasket is not the one that is uh, having problems. What is having problems is the actual head. We can, we can barely see over here 
on this area there are some little dots right here very small dots that is why the cylinder cracks when the cylinder head cracks completely then it's completely cracked you're gonna see a line that goes across these areas or it can go across to where any, any other area mostly happens in the center area right here so uh it can cross it can crack around here so that is what happens and then the pressure starts getting released but a very clear example of the problem is because we can see that white stain you see the white stain in almost all the cylinders well all the cylinders see this another one there another one there and another one there and another one there so all these cylinders have that white stain which means then the um, uh, the engine was consuming coolant no matter what it was consuming coolant anyway so um, the problem was then um, it was very small it was something super small then it's really hard to tell so that's the reason why the pressure wasn't getting built that high I mean so fast in this case the cylinder head is the problem you can barely see it right now because this head is not completely destroyed uh, but it is so uh, there is nothing to do to repair this head because if you take it to a machine shop right now and get, get it fixed they won't do anything besides just replacing the cylinder balls and uh, replacing whatever else whatever then is needed to replace whenever they rebuild the head and they want to have this they want to send you the same head and it's going to be the same I mean the problem is going to still be here so the problem won't, won't get solved is going to be the same so what will be the solution to repair this problem the only solution you can find to this problem is to replace the head completely and when I mean replacing the head is then you have to buy a new one and when the problem is then the head has a large a large crack in the uh, surface of the cylinder uh, wall which is going to be the bottom part of the cylinder head uh, or the cylinder head uh, you are going to have to pay for the core or whatever is uh, needed to buy a new head so uh, the problem is then this is going to be super expensive a new head is going to cost around five thousand dollars and plus the core that is going to be super expensive just to replace this one you can buy aftermarket heads or use heads and pay to get it rebuilt it's going to be way cheaper than buying one of these from a dealer because those are so way so too much money just to spend on one head my recommendation to you it will be then uh, in this case right this head is not having any problems any major problems besides the leak but the leak is very small so my recommendation to you will be to send this head to the dealer and get a new one the reason why I say that is because this head has a very small crack a super small crack thing is it will be really hard to tell from the people at the dealer so that way you can get a good head but if you don't have this kind of money just buy a used head that will be the best way because you cannot reuse this head if you reuse this head you're gonna have the same problem again so be uh, uh, have that on your mind very clear because if you reuse this head because it was uh, releasing pressure to the coolant system and um, uh, you're just gonna have the same problem because you just reuse the same head and the head is the problem of that uh, of the problem that you're having of releasing the pressure to the coolant system now why this happened that's a good question right because all of you can have that on mind then this happened but why this happened in some occasions it could be just a OEM defect you know when you uh, buy buy the truck brand new uh, it, it can with the defect you know it can happen but it doesn't mean that it will happen to every single head what will be the other problem will be the delete you know what the dpf delete is right so you have that very clear so the dpf delete is when you remove the emission software of the engine so when you remove uh, the emission software of the engine you give a different type of software to the engine so the engine can run normally with no problems so that way you have no emissions and the engine has no problems uh, the problem is when you are 
removing the emission system, you remove some of the OEM uh, softwares and install another type of software. And this other type of software probably is going to have more horsepower or some other type of uh, way to run the engine. And this destroys the head. It's very common to see that when you have that problem. I mean, I don't say that if you delete your system, it will happen, but I don't say that if you do it, it won't happen. So uh, it, is, it is going to happen eventually if you do it or don't do it, but uh, it's more likely to happen when you do it. So my recommendation, as I say, don't delete it. That would be my recommendation, don't do the system, but um, I know how expensive it is to maintain a, a emission system, so probably you wanna do it anyway. It is under your uh, uh, call, you have the right uh, word on that. If you wanna do it, it's cool. If you don't wanna do it, it's cool anyway. The only problem is then you have to have in your mind clear, then this could happen to your engine, and then you wanna spend this much money repairing the engine anyway. So there is no escape there is always a money, uh, uh, some, somewhere to spend the money. And I know many of you like Cummins ISX because Cummins ISX is a very like quiet engine when the engine is running well. And it's an engine that has a lot of power. Cummins ISX, they have a lot of power. Like that truck then goes behind that truck has a Cummins ISX, you know, the KWs T660, T680s, Peterbilt, you know, they have Cummins ISX. And they're very strong engines. Um, the only problem is then parts are very expensive. As, as a proof of that, we have the head and the head is super expensive to replace. And uh, that will be uh, the problem. I mean, like I will say that if you really uh, want to, uh, to uh, keep your engine running well, just don't delete the emission system. But as I say, you have the last hope. Um, I don't know what else to say about this video right now. I pretty much say the most I cool about the uh, about the problems that you can get and the solutions and what is going to be the cause of the problem of this uh, situation that is happening to this engine. Um, there is not much to say besides this, but just replacing the head and that will fix the problem. Don't just replace the gasket. Don't send the, your head to the machine shop and get it repaired because you're gonna have the same problem if you get this problem. Um, just replace the head with another one, then it's a good one, then you know then it's a good one, and then this problem would go away. Uh, depending if you have your emission system completely deleted, probably that's just, uh, that, that problem is going to come back, or it will take a while to come back, depending on how good the head is. So uh, it, it, it will happen, I mean. But anyway, um, I guess this is all I have for you for, uh, to right now. This is all the details I have about the cylinder head and the problems that you are going to face uh, when you do this or you do that. When you delete the system, you're gonna find that, or if you don't delete the system, you're gonna have a lot of emission, emission problems, so. Yeah. Anyway, uh, pretty much this is all. Uh, probably later I'm gonna do some other videos about coming inside of sex, doing some other repairs over there on the head, and uh, I, mean, I mean on the uh, cylinders and pistons and block and whatever else, you know. Just I, as I do with uh, with um, Detroit. The only problem with coming inside of sex is that it's a little more harder to work yourself. Detroit is a little more friendly when it comes to do the work yourself, but Cummins is a little harder to work yourself. But either way, I'm going to show you because it is it is part of my uh, routine to do videos. It doesn't matter if you can do it or you cannot do it. Anyway, uh, if you have any questions about this, uh, just uh, use the comment section below and leave anything. And you have any anything to add, experiences or something that you can share about this, just do it too. Use the comment section below because you can help some others, you can help me in, in knowing something that I don't know still. Um, if you wanna ask me something directly, go to Instagram and look for Francisco Maya YouTube, follow me, and that's how you can contact me the fastest. I will try to respond you as fast as I can. Um, if uh, you like the content, make sure to like the video, and very important, if you wanna help my channel to keep doing content like this, or better content than this, you can use the description section of this video where I have details how to send support to my channel so I can do better videos every time. 
I can buy my time to do videos. Um, pretty much this is all. I hope you like the video. Share it. It's very important. Subscribe to the channel. It's important as well. And thank you for watching.